Hello, everybody! Today we're going to see how I draw Man-at-Arms from Masters of the Universe Revelation. Just so you know, there's a coloring book that you can get through Amazon. Just follow the link in my description and you can get a coloring book to show me how you color to how I draw. Okay, pencils first and then Sharpies. So if you'd want to watch the pencil portion of the video where I sketch the entire thing out, look in the description and you'll find a link that you can click on that will take you to the Sharpie portion of the video. I'll even include one for color. But for those of you that are going to stick around, I'm going to start off with a quick sketch for myself and get us going. Now, man at arms. I was trying to figure out what I wanted to do. Like, uh, you know, um, which version, basically. And I think I'm just going to go with, you know, the, the first original, because that's kind of the other problem with, with well, I mean, this is always the problem with drawing characters, is which one? And he's, everybody, everybody does in every show, everybody, well, for the most part, has a couple of different costumes, right? Costume changes and stuff like that. And, uh... <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm, I was thinking about, I was trying to go into thinking to myself, what other stories could I tell, costume changes and whatnot, and the one that always makes me laugh is the Emperor at the end of Rise of Skywalker, that it's a whole, he uses his, his, his Sith powers to make him a whole new costume. <laughs> but that's a story for another time, or a joke for another time. Um... So anyway, uh, you know, a lot of characters have different poses and whatnot, so I never know which ones to use. So I'm just going with just this typical one. And because um, because I'm not even going for like a gigantic over the top pose, I'm just going for a standing standing celebration of awesomeness and power, you know, eventually I need to start doing stuff like like uh, um, uh, pat, what, dynamic poses, right? Especially, you know, that's a good idea. I'm going to keep going with this, but especially with characters like He-Man, where it's basically the same character over and over again with just a different, uh, you know, um, color or new weapon added, you know, uh, new uh, Malibu Stacy with, with a hat, you know, stuff like that. Um, so I think, I think that'll give us the opportunity to be able to draw more, more things because we've already, it's kind of the same problem I have with stormtroopers. We've already drawn it over and over again, you know, and, uh, again, no offense. I hate to say that and bash on the, the stormtrooper people. But everybody wants, you know, this trooper or that trooper or this trooper or that trooper because they watch the Clone Wars, and that's great. That's fantastic. I will never say don't request stuff. I always want to hear your requests, and I always want to draw them, you know. But the problem with troopers is that after a while, uh, it's it's the same character over and over, just a different color. And so I want to try to give a different, uh, some variety more than just a standing pose, you know. I even had one person say, it makes no sense. I mean, they're standing there. It makes sense. But I, I get what they're trying to say, that they want more than just standing, you know? Um, so, sorry, I guess I can go lower on that. Uh, so what I'm trying to say is, I, I'm, I think He-Man is the same thing. He-Man was based on... Uh, toys, right? We've talked about this every time. They're based on toys, and so in toy production, you can get a lot further. You can go get more bang for your buck, so to speak, if you use the same molds over and over again and uh, just different with different colors, stuff like that. So, a lot of times for He Man, especially, it's it's the same character, but just exactly what I just said, different colors. Uh, and, and, and a different accessory, you know? So, I think this is, Star Wars and this, He-Man, is a good example of we should start doing crazier things because we can.
right? Because in so many words, well, I've already drawn this character. I've already drawn, you know, these details, just a different color, stuff like that. Um, so I think I think now is the time to start getting crazy with, well, let's put him in this pose. Let's try this and let's try that. And and see where it goes, you know. So this will probably be the last just standing. Well, I say that, but sometimes these are like powerful poses, you know. And sometimes, especially with like man at arms, it's like, well, it kind of makes sense that. He's a very strong man, and we kind of want to show off his his arms, right? Um, so, as much as I will always say, yeah, let's try something different, sometimes it's going to come out, that, well, I just wanted to draw him powerful like this, you know? as I say, yeah, this will be the last time, or, or we're going to try something different, I'm sure it will be. <laughs> I'm sure going to do them over and over again. Uh, let's see, what else can I tell you about He-Man? Uh, I've already told you I bought the toys when they first came out. I didn't know what they were. I was just excited. I bought something. Um, <laughs> I told you my brother made fun of me. Well, not made fun of me, but laughed at me. And said, you don't even know what that is. Why are you buying that? But hey, it's impulse, you know? It's just, I liked it. It was, you know, it, I'm a big fan, obviously, of... of uh, uh, fantasy, uh, sci-fi type kind of stuff, you know. Uh, you know, read Lord of the Rings and, and Dune and all that stuff when I was a little kid. So I love sci-fi. And I, I know, you know, He-Man isn't quite sci-fi, but it had that element in it. And um, it, that's why I say fantasy, not just sci-fi, but fantasy, uh, um, Dungeons and Dragons type kind of stuff, you know? Me and my brother played. We played Dungeons and Dragons a lot. God, I haven't played in so long. I don't even know if I can remember how to play. But, uh, you know, so so he, he knew, he had an idea of, of the passions, you know, celebrate your passions and, and enjoying uh, uh, fantasy stuff, you know? But uh, he, he, he was, you know, he did think it was funny that we, I, I didn't even know what it was. I was just buying on impulse. It was my first impulse purchase. Okay, let's see what's going on with his helmet here. So, <laughs> now that I'm looking at it too, there's quite a bit of tech that's on him that's not really tech. Like there's wires coming out of his helmet for some reason. Don't know why. But that's kind of what I was saying before, how it was just, they just made stuff and it was fun to, you know, fun toys. Let's just make, add some wires and do this and see what happens, you know? Okay, I think I am ready. Uh, helm is a little big, head's a little big, but yeah, I'm just gonna go with it. You know what? Let's just, I say we go. Let's just, let's welcome everybody that skipped and get going. But first, let me erase some of these pencil lines. Because what I like to do is, when I'm first throwing down lines, sketching, I'm just kind of throwing lines down. Just, just exactly that. Just placing them where they feel like they might go. And then as I get more confident with the placement, the positioning, and the proportions, I start pressing harder. So when I lightly erase like this, the sketch lines will disappear pretty easily. 
but the confidence lines take more pressure. I'm not quite applying enough pressure to erase, so I can follow my confidence lines and get rid of my sketch lines. And that's how you live your life. Get rid of your sketchiness, keep your confidence, you'll do amazing things, and I'll be there to celebrate your victories. All right? Okay, let's go. I say we welcome all the skippers and get going. Oops, I lost my picture. There we go. Welcome, skippers. Welcome to the Sharpie portion of the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe because I do a different drawing every day. You can join along and have some fun. I'm going to be using a Sharpie fine point and a Sharpie pen. Mostly the fine point, but the pen's a little finer than the fine point. You can find things that a fine point can't quite find. I've sketched the entire thing out. I've erased the majority of the sketch lines, but left myself enough to see where we're going to go. If you want to see more He-Man, check out that playlist right there, or just do a search and playlist in general. I've drawn so many things that I may have already drawn what you're looking for, so do a search, see if it's there. If not, give me a request and I'll see what I can do. I'm going to jump right in with his face. So I'm going to get his eyes. He's just looking straight at you. So they should be parallel. So I'm just going to come in here and do this. Something like that. This one's a little, little more droopy, but that's okay. I'm going to make it work. I'm going to draw the retina, the color part of the eye. Something like that. I can work with that. It's not perfect, but that's okay. I'm okay with it not being perfect. Now, because this is so tiny, I can only draw so many lines, so I can't draw the underside of the eye. I'm just going to come in like this towards that center and kind of imply that there's an underline. I'll do it with color. You're welcome to draw that line, but I know how this is going to go and this will bleed if I start doing that. So let me add a little bit of a pupil. I'm going to dab the, uh, the center just for a little bit of a pupil. But like I said, this is going to bleed, so I have to be very careful about the lines I put in here. All right, now his, his helmet is gonna kind of cover up some of his brow, so I need to start drawing those lines too. So I'm gonna draw the, not the point, but the, the bridge of the helmet, I guess. This is gonna be right here across the bridge of his nose. And there's gonna be two lines, one for the where it connects to his head and one for the outer edge, kind of like the brim of a hat, right? So I'm gonna draw the one for his head like this. And I'm starting to thicken up my lines because when I switch over to this Sharpie, you're going to see a huge difference in line width. And I'm trying to match where it's about to go. You don't have to do that if you don't want to, you know, especially if you're working with pencil. I'm just explaining to you why I draw how I draw. I'll try to smooth some of that out. That's not always going to work, but that's okay. All right, so there's the edge and then the outer edge. I'm do something like this. I did it kind of big, so I'm going to try to wrangle it back in. There we go. Okay, I can work with that. <laughs> that one's still kind of big. Um, but that'll give me an edge. I know where I can go now. So, his brow, I can go ahead and do it like this. Alright, kind of a big old, big old bushy brow. Stern and out. that because he's got kind of a, a scowled wrinkled forehead um, I'm gonna give him just a little bit of a line like that because again I got a, a wrinkled forehead there for his nose a bridge of his nose let's let's get a little dangerous here let's do something like this let's give him a defined nose normally I don't draw these lines but I'm trying to go different and give him some different features right there's a the nostril outer nostril, or the hole, I guess, and then the nostril. And we're going to draw a little bit of the bulb of his nose. A little bit like that. That's it. See, I gave him a thicker nose just because I'm trying to do something a little different. Normally, I don't. Uh, for his, his mustache, let's go ahead and bring it on down like this. Bring it on down this way. And for the front, we're going to kind of part it down the middle. I do something like that. Big old burly mustache. Big old 80s mustache. I guess not just 80s, but that's when it was made. That's why I like saying that. Um, let's see. I'm going to give him a big old strong chin. Very defined, very uh, sturdy. 
Oops, my lines are just all over the place today. All right, so now I'm gonna work uh, his jawline back up here. And then to his, his base, we're gonna give him some, some cheekbones, but I gotta work with this edge right here, so I'm gonna kind of come in like that. Because his helmet covers up his ears for some reason. I guess he doesn't want to hear. Um, and let's see, so that means it goes down to, it's, it's crazy helmet, it really is. There is no, no rhyme or reason to it. It was just a fun, fun drawing is what it was the one they came up with it. They're like, yeah, give him this crazy hat. He's, he's, he's the man at arms, but give him a crazy hat, right? Um, I think I'm going to continue with the small sharpie just for now to add the detail of the, the helmet. Let's see, that's going to come through like that, so this is going to come out straight. Connect to that guy. I can control line width much better with this small sharpie. And for tiny details like the, the face and stuff like that, I like using that. Um, let's see, it's going to kind of do this oval thing, like that, it still came out big, I said I was going to wrangle it in, but it still came out big, <laughs> that's okay, before I draw the edges, let me draw the uh, details here, so he's got like this little thing, sci-fi, sci-fi tech is what this is, or, um, Sci-fi greebles is what it is. You just add stuff on uh, to make it like manufactured, to make it sci-fi, to make it uh, you know more than just a flat surface. That's uh, scientific technology, right? I am making 3D models right now. I do 3D. Do you know that? Uh, I'm making 3D models right now, making ships and stuff like that, and. I have to add little stuff like this, just what we call greebles, because it's it's sci -fi, it's a sci-fi look. It's crazy, but it gives it that it gives it that manufactured look, like someone made this. You know, there's no reason for it. There's no explanation. It's just, uh, you know, there to look like it has a function. And I'm drawing this. I know where it's gonna go. I'm following my, my sketch, so that's why I'm just kind of have them floating. So it, that's why it helps to sketch stuff out, but also just so you know, that's why I'm doing that. I'm not just drawing crazy lines just floating everywhere. I'm following the plan. There is another line like this, uh, but I'm gonna do that with color. Oops. I mean to bump into that one. Okay, I think I'm ready to switch over to the other Sharpie. And get to moving. There we go. There's some thick lines. All right, let's go. So, here we go with the tech, sci-fi tech. So I'm gonna draw his neck. Like this, and then his, his I'm not too sure what this is. Uh, I'm just drawing what I see, but his like little face covering thing, like what is this? Does, does he use it to protect himself? But what you, you'd have to, it's so low on his chest. That's why I don't know what it is. That's why I don't quite get it. It's like, I, it looks cool. You know, don't get me wrong. But uh, yeah, it's a little, it's a little strange to be just kind of floating. As a as a as a protective piece, it's strange. I don't know what it is. Now I'm drawing a few things in front because you always have to draw what's in front first, so you don't accidentally draw through it, and you'll know what's coming where. So the helmet, the or the helmet, this this mask type thing. 
kind of goes uh, um, toilet paper roll. <laughs> I don't know what it is. That's what it makes me think of. But it's, in, it's behind that, so I wanted to draw that first. And then it kind of goes up here, connects up here, and then connects to this side uh, uh, armor. God, what is this thing? Okay, sorry, 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 sorry. I'm, I'm getting all fixated on it. Here's the basics, and I'm going to add the, the grating. But see how I wanted to go back behind that? Um, with the smaller sharpie is what I was trying to say. I'll add the grating. This I just wanted to add as the, the main edges. Again, I know that's floating, I know it's not touching, but again, I, I kind of have a plan. So just bear with me. Big old bear. Okay, uh, let's just do this. There, there's, it's, it's kind of a, a see-through, like you can see the layers underneath, but it's kind of a lot to draw, so I'm just gonna kind of do something like that. Plus, I don't know if we can get it all that in there anyway. See, it's so tiny. It's kind of like what I was saying with the, with the details of the face. Like, there's only so many we're going to get in there. Let's do this. But that's also why I wanted to use this small Sharpie to control these lines. Because there's no way I would have been able to do that with the big Sharpie. And look how they're not perfect. It's okay. I'm fine with that. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm going to try. But uh, if it's not perfect, I'm not focused on that. All right. Here we go. So that's part of his armor, and it looks like, okay, so it looks like, let me connect it real fast. We're going to say there's his shirt edge. Um, let's see, I've got his arm raised, so I kind of need to put his, his shoulder up right here, or the shoulder piece. So. I was talking about too that you kind of need to you know draw what's in front first so it helps to plan what's going where there are these big big uh circular studs on his shoulder. So that's what I was doing here. All right. But again, because his arm is raised, that raises up your shoulder when you, you know, your, your muscles got to go someplace when you move and that's what happens. Now, he's got like this furry um, it, shirt end. Uh, edge here this kind of hangs out like this right and so the armor is kind of covering up a lot of this part right here but uh, um, I, I wanted to make sure I put it in there so let's let's actually draw the edge of it And so, because now I have that defined, I'm going to add a little bit of his fur for the, that uh, sl sleeve, the sleeve end, right? Because it's like it's like a sleeveless shirt that's furry. Again, this is all based on <laughs> crazy, crazy uh, toys. 
from the 80s. Um, yeah, I mean, what else can I tell you? They, uh, they went nuts. But here's the thing, and this is what I like talking about. I wish they didn't try to explain it all. Sometimes, it's better to have the mystery of like, well, it's there, you don't know. It's an alien world that, you know, they do things differently than we do. So it's almost like, well, then don't, don't explain it. You know, don't try. And that leaves it, it leaves it alien. It leaves it different, foreign, strange, you know, crazy. It's when they try to explain everything. That's when I kind of get a little disappointed. It's like, oh, just leave the mystery, you know, leave it a little bit of, of, of who knows, you know? I don't know, but maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm, I'm the one who, who wants it that way. You know, we all want, want it the way we want it. You make it the way I say, you know? <laughs> That's how we all feel. Uh, okay, so see there's a there's a muscle piece I'm gonna say that it's a muscle piece a, a bicep piece is what I was trying to say like this and let's see you can see we'll say that you can see that much of his muscle because I don't know, it doesn't look like it's attached to something. We'll go ahead and strap it on like that. It, it looks like maybe it's attached to this, but I can't tell. So I'm just going to kind of strap it to his arm here. Alright, so this arm is up, and he's got his, his gauntlet on, so... You can see his elbow like this coming up to the edge of the power gauntlet. Let's see, let's draw it like this. Then I'll come back and add some detail. Guess I could have done that, huh? And let's see, let's go ahead and draw the hand. As I'm drawing the wrist. As I'm not drawing the hand. What I was trying to say is let's draw the hand here to coincide with uh, the four armor. Which basically I'm just drawing into a fist is all I'm really going to do. So draw the back of the hand like this. Again, he's got like little stud things on it like that. And I don't know how it's connected. Can't tell. So I'm not going to connect it. I'm just going to draw the hand. Like that. I'm going to add a little bit of detail. And the rest is pretty much just going to be anatomy. So um, let's draw the, the, you can see his bicep here, like this. I'm sorry, that's his shoulder to his bicep. There's his arm. The whole thing is his arm. There's his elbow. And uh, he's got a, a big cuff piece. Big wrist cuff. Okay, so now I can draw the rest of his arm, because I know where it's going to go. A lot of times it helps for me to have start-stop points, so I know you know, where I can start, where I can stop, where I should be drawing, where I shouldn't be drawing, things like that, you know? Oh, 
All right, same thing here. Just making a fist. Nothing too crazy. The back of his hand. Oh, I need to draw the thumb because I'm going to put that over the fingers like this. All right? Now I can draw the fingers. Here's Captain Pinky. Captain Ring Finger. Captain Middle Finger. Lieutenant Index Finger. I don't know why I said all that. I, I was I can't go into a joke as to why I called everything that what I did. I'm just saying silly things. And I just I was trying to draw like hand lines. That looks like now like he's wearing a he has a, a armor on like a a metal glove or something. But that'll work. That's good enough for me. And now we're just gonna draw fuzzy britches and legs. Oops! Don't do that. Okay. <laughs> so. Uh, let's see, down to his, his, his pants. Again, the He-Man style stuff, which is basically, um, some kind of metal belt to, um, fuzzy underwear, loincloth type thing with gems in the front. I don't know, what would you call this stuff? This is why it kind of makes me laugh sometimes. I'm like, someone makes this. If this is Eternia, if this is their land, right? Someone had to make all this. Someone is in charge of, you know, manufacturing all this stuff for them, right? Like, so who did this? Who who said, just, just put some jewels on there, you know? <laughs> so again, what is why it helps to just don't explain it. Just just have a good time, you know? <laughs> Alright, fuzzy pants. We're just gonna do something like this. Oops, lost my pencil. I don't need it. And then muscular legs. Now, I guess he does have uh, like that on this leg too, so it's not just um, muscles, is what I was saying before. So this leg is coming down, all super powerful muscular, but again, into this armor piece. So no knee because it's covered up by this, this uh, knee pad. studs. Let me add some detail real fast. We're going to see, you can see the top of that one, this one this way, and that one that way. Just to give it a little bit of a dimension, right? Let me smooth that line out. I don't know what I was thinking there. Um, how about just a little bit of muscular detail? Something like that. With muscles, I say this all the time, I don't like drawing a lot of lines because it's still a contour. Now, it is a, uh, a, there is a, a crease where it goes closer to the body and then the muscle comes out, sure. But I, I like edges to have the black edges, not um, muscles to have a hard edge, you know? That should be more color and stuff like that. Um, let's go ahead and do this other leg too so you get a feel of where we are. Down here to the knee. Back 
back leg, you know, super muscular. Coming in like that, then back to the uh, calf. It's gonna come out, but let's stop there because that's where his boots are. His fuzzy boots. They had a little bit extra left over from his armpits and his loincloth. I said, hey, do you know what? Put on my boots. Let's do that. And you know what really look really good with all these jewels on my on my belt? Um, fuzzy boots. Yeah. Go for it. See? Don't explain it. Just, just go crazy. Um, sorry, just gonna add a little bit of extra just to kind of make it more than just the big, big fat sharpie. Again, we'll do some muscle lines, but that's it. That's all I'm gonna do. All right, so uh, boots and the rest of the armor. So I'm gonna come down here. There are some straps across the boots, so that's why I'm just kind of doing stuff like that, just to kind of make it um, strap, strapped, uh, strap, strapish, strappable. Ooh, that's a funny bump. Didn't mean to add that. We'll get back to that in a second. Well, no, let's do it now. Since I said there's strap stuff on, let's connect some of those lines that I did funny bumps on. I like doing stuff like that because it makes it look like it's it's uh, on top of something, you know? It's actually over the boot, not just a simple line. Okay, again, that's kind of a strange bump. I didn't mean to do that, but that's okay. Okay, so the armor is pretty much like, well, not like anything else. I was gonna say, it's like his arm. Nope. Uh, it's gonna kind of come out. It's in layers, basically. And then the boot. A little bit of extra detail and we'll be done. Didn't mean to go so long on this one, but uh, you know, sometimes, sometimes I'm having a good time. Sometimes I enjoy, well, no, I was about to say sometimes I enjoy being here with you. I always enjoy being here with you. That's why I'm doing these drawings. There we go. Let me connect some lines. Um, a little bit of armor. I don't know why I did that. It's just basically a dot. It's so tiny. But there you go. I say we take care of the rest with color. So that is Man at Arms from Masters of the Universe Revelations. So here's how I colored it. Tell me what you think in the comments below, or show me what you did in our Discord group. Just have fun and make it your own, because remember, this is how I draw. You draw how you draw, and we'll meet somewhere in between. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more adventures with how I draw. Plus, don't forget to hit that notification button for new videos.